on Man Caver Tools, we are going to do the Flex promotional video because and Flex, it's what's, it's what's next. next. Round, two. Round two. I watched this video a couple times to analyze it, seeing how this actually is, and I actually like this promotional video to a certain extent. Before we get started, I just want to say that Flex sort of made a mistake when it comes to what they should verse. So what they should have done was did the old batteries versus the new batteries 100%. Flex claims 200% performance and 300% uh, longevity of the battery charge. They could have easily showed us the difference between the two batteries when it comes to the new and the old on their performance and how well it would do with the tool. All right, so I do want to say I'm sorry. I'm on high alert today because I'm actually expecting a, a freight package from Hilti today. I am getting a package that equals to 450 pounds. So it's coming through freight and it's actually out for delivery. So I'm excited. So please subscribe to the channel to see an unboxing of the pallet that is going to be uploaded today. But let's go over this flex video and go through each of the steps and see and how well they actually did with their promotional video. Welcome to round two of the flex face off. I'm Barnaby, and I'm excited to share with you what's next with Flex. We've got a lot to show you today, including a whole host of new tools. And we're going to share some impressive updates and talk about an incredible battery innovation that's certainly going to raise the bar. You know, Flex has always been driven to be the best. It's a company with a proud history of innovation founded 100 years ago in Stuttgart, Germany. But today, the focus is the exciting future of Flex. We're fueled with optimism and inspired by you, the pro, to make the very best tools designed for the trades. Electricians, plumbers, and framers will all tell you that a good hammer drill is essential to getting through their workday quickly and accurately. A good hammer drill is going to boost your productivity and assure a job well done. Now, you can imagine when you're driving into a hard media like concrete, there is the chance of kickback and a stall. But the anti-kickback technology is going to stop you from having to leave the job site and go into the ER. It's a good feature to have. Hilti invented that, by the way. Anti-kickback. It's a feature that was requested by you, the pros. And of course, we're happy to deliver drilling through eight inch concrete using a turbo hammer drill with brand new half inch concrete drill bits. Let's face off. Before we even watch this concrete test, with the testing that I've done, I can tell you besides that stack battery, that flex would destroy the other brands with the regular five amp hour battery with the, the regular 18650 cells. It would. This flex hammer feature is fantastic. It's actually the best hammer feature that I've tested throughout all the hammer drills that I have. That hammer feature is phenomenal. That's a tough way to spend the day, but it's a job that's got to get done, right? So yes, that flex hammer drill destroyed the other brands. It would even do the same with a regular five amp hour battery with the old cells. Right, so let's talk about it. Who won? Really? Flex won. By a long shot, two speeds, so you were on two, but you got the turbo mode and that probably got you a little further, a little faster, right? With the stack lithium driving the train. Absolutely, I let the tool do the work. I just applied a little pressure and, and let every, the tool do everything else. So I do think it's a huge mistake that they said in their promotional video and multiple times and a lot that they were uh, being accused of cheating in their previous promotional video. You know, you hear it online that they say these aren't fair tests, these aren't equal competitions, it's some type of thing that's rigged. And we've seen a lot of people online 
do the test themselves. You should not say that in your actual promotional video. They look bad to the audience because they are defending their tool from comments. More power that can match your demand for peak performance. This is an amazing feature right here, the quick eject collet. Simply press the button below the nose and the bit will come out automatically, which allows you to quickly insert or release bits with one hand with just the press of that button. Once again, it seems like that they're promoting the tools instead of the batteries, which the main thing that this, the main thing that they're doing with this promotional video is promoting batteries. You know, I would have loved to see the difference between the old batteries and new batteries. That's just me. So you're probably wondering, what's the test for the impact driver? Well, what we're going to be doing is raising five pound weights with the impact driver. And the first five pound weight to the top is the winner. Let's face off. When it comes to this impact driver test, uh, it's sort of useless. I, like that's that they, it's like why even put that in there? I think this specific test is is stupid. You know they should not have put this test in there, but here it is. We all saw what just happened with the five pound weights. All the tools did their job to varying degrees of success. They all got the kettlebells to the top with the five pound weights. Flex was the winner, but now we're gonna up the ante and put some extreme pressure to the tools because it's now eight pound weights where once these are sand filled, these guys are solid metal. So let's see what happens in this eight pound flex face off. Well, we saw what happened there. It was clear, but what I want to find out is from the guys how it all felt with Flex again. Now we're 2 and 0 in this race. So come on over here, guys. Let's talk about it. Max performance from stacked lithium battery and brushless motor is going to give you that extra performance on the job site. So the bevel cut capacity on this up to 56 degrees. Best performing cordless rear handle saw based on the speed of cut and stall force. Now, on to the face-off, where competitors are going to be racing down this Pinewood Derby-like track. All right, so when it comes to this test, this test is actually amazing. And this test is something that Project Farm would actually do. Good job, Flex, for this test. This test is amazing. We've taken the human element out of this. Joe, you saw the Flex face-off last year. And online afterwards, there were people that were saying, well, I mean, the guy with the bigger muscles was pushing that saw harder. You should not say that in your actual promotional video. There was a million reasons why their particular saw, their favorite saw, didn't win, right? So what we've done here is we've taken all of the human element out of it, except for you, you got the glory position. You're going to push the button and start the race, right? You have no say in what happens here. But I will say that the saws are going to be the stars of the show. And we've got the Flex 24 volt, we got the Makita, and we've got the Milwaukee. Now, as far as the blades, we thought for fairness of fight, what we would do is give them all brand new, never used Flex 24 tooth carbide tip saw blades, fresh out of the box. And as far as the battery power go, this is where it gets a little bit different, right? This guy is gonna be 24 volt, the Flex, but he's running the 10 amp hour stacked lithium. Now, Makita, 36 volt, right? And these are gonna be two five amp hour batteries. Milwaukee is gonna be 18 volt, 12 amp hour batteries. So it's a little different there. As far as the way it's gonna go, it's gonna be like on the job site. I mean, it's a good day when you hit your line perfectly every time, right? Right. Because you don't wanna be binding the saw up. And so we constructed the track to be pulled along straight and true. As far as what we're gonna be cutting, it's gonna be this. Remember when I was talking a minute ago about stacking up lumber? It's time is money on the job site. What do we have here? Two pieces of three quarter inch uh, particle board. Okay, so this is straight off the rack at your local big box glued together, and so that's what we're going to be cutting. Boy, there's 
nothing more exciting than a moment at the track, right? And you saw the race live right here, and the obvious winner on this one was Flex. And yeah, the Flex wins. With that stacked battery, heck yeah, that would win. Dude, that's, the stacked technology is amazing. Now let's push the limits. What we're gonna have our pros do is try to push as hard as they can through three sheets of three quarter inch plywood without stalling. And let's see who comes out victorious. Let's face off. Let's start with you, Joe, because I need to know you were on Flex, now you're on Milwaukee. Compare and contrast, what was it like? When it comes to this test, I 100% believe that. With that, 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 that battery will majorly improve the motor's performance. It would. The DeWalt Power Stack proved that it can. A 1.7 amp hour DeWalt Power Stack battery will perform up there with a 4 amp hour battery with 21,700 cells. An angle grinder is a versatile tool that can cut or grind metal, cut tile, stucco, pavers, and route out mortar. All right, so when it comes to grinders, Flex did a fantastic job along with all the other brands. I'm not a fan of races with grinders because safety is number one, which all of them were very safe. All of them were uh, smart this time. Flex did win, so yeah. All right, the last of the sparks have flown. Who was the winner? No contest. Yeah. Flex was and the winner. <laughs> <laughs> I am excited to introduce the Flex interlocking storage system that we're calling the Stack Pack. I want this so badly. Those look so cool. I'm a huge fan of interlocking tool portable storage units, and Flex did a great job. Uh, ew, it's very impact rated as they proved a 60 mile an hour baseball, which they didn't need to do, but they did. You know, like it's it, it's good. But instead of going through the details first, let's show you how tough it is. We're gonna hit the flex stack pack with a baseball firing from a pitching machine at about 60 miles per hour. It's time to face off. Flex interlocking storage stack pack system can really take a wallop. You see that baseball hit it at 60? Looks great, right? But let's talk about the features, because this is what you're going to be concerned with on the job site day in and day out. IP65 all-weather protection. What does that even mean, right? Well, it's way beyond any thunderstorm you've ever been in on the job site. We're talking high-pressure water jets can hit this from all angles, and it's going to stay absolutely dry inside. As far as the convenience is, auto-connect interlocking. Here's a big one, gas strut for auto opening and holding. You will not believe the difference this is gonna make on the job site. When it comes to these being very durable, I 100% believe that because even the, the Ryobi uh, link system is very durable. And if that's durable, these are gonna be durable. The Flex did good. Uh, this, uh, this interlocking storage system is awesome. And I want it. I seriously do. I want, the, I want these units. Do I need them? Hell no.
but I want them anyways. Also, with its nine-inch all-terrain tires, you're going to have effortlessly rolling capabilities over any terrain. Customized organization, extendable exterior and interior storage. We're going to take you through that. And detachable handrail so you can put it under the cover of your pickup truck bed. Also, as we saw with that baseball test, it is impact-resistant polypropylene, so super tough. So you're thinking, huh, I have a different system. How do they stack up? Let's bring out the competition. We have Mikey with DeWalt, the tough system, and Jesse with the Milwaukee Packout. So we're going to see how the Flex Stack Pack stacks up against the competition here. All right, right off the bat, I'm noticing you were a little late to the party because you were kind of rolling gingerly, right? The fan doesn't attach. None of this attaches to the actual system itself. That sounds like a couple trips. I don't think it was necessary to, like, sort of bring the fans into this because each portable storage unit has their own ups and downs. You know, like the Packout has uh, a work light. It has a vacuum. You know, uh, the it has a radio. You know, the, the all tough system 2.0 has that stuff as well. You know, but when it, when it comes to uh, accessories for this stuff, that comes in time. Ryobi's, the Ryobi Link system is still new, so they will have more stuff in time. The tough system 2.0 and the pack out just been around longer, so they have more for them right now, which Flex plans on coming out with more. But I want these units. Okay, so you got that? This is where you're going to keep your uh, stuff that, uh, yeah, you got a couple of storage containers. It's kind of like for like, right? Well, let's get on down to the second one because this is where we get into the gas struts that I was talking about. Okay, let's do a little three, two, one on this. Let's get into the uh, second box right here. Let's open them up. And when I tell you to, pop the lid. Ready? Three, two, one. What happened there? Got a couple mouse traps right there. The handle's in the way, so it doesn't allow the lid to open. It right. actually forces it closed. Right, so I'm just like sitting here living large. I go, there's my hammer drill right there. And then let's talk about the accessories. Open up your lids. I just got pretty much an empty box here with a little, you know, adjustable tray. But other than that, everything's loose in here. One thing I notice, I see yours uh, covers are see-through. I can't see what these are. OK, on this one, let me show you how this works right here. This is uh, just so intuitive. You just put it in, snap it, and there you go. And you can actually take it off. And you want to just go a little deeper on this one. You pop it in, and there you go right there, right? And then you can open this up like this. I'm into the inside. So it is all just so convenient. And with the clear plastic in front, you can actually see exactly what you're getting into every time. Over there, you can put these bit holder units on the bottom of the lid. And that's very innovative, just so it's not rattling inside the storage unit itself. And it also creates more space. I do love that they put that there automatically to where you don't need to do a modification to have that on there. It, it's smart. Now let's uh, put your handle down or do whatever you're going to do, right? And let's imagine trying to put it into the back of a pickup truck with a lid on it. Oh, it won't fit. Oh, this one will. Because <laughs> if you don't have light on the job site, you can't get the work done, right? And what's great about this is it is very transformable. It's on a nice stout base, so it's going to stay put. It's got three LED panels It's going to cast 4,000 lumens of light. You can pop the top off. Now you got the three panels in hand. It's got rafter hooks, and you can either hang it up or put it down on the ground. This one runs off of an AC cord, so you pop the battery out, plug it in, shazam. This blower right here is all about keeping the job site clean. And so at 115 CFM, 185 miles per hour on turbo, this is going to manage your mess. It's going to push the piles where you need it, and it's got a nice turbo button, which is going to give you kind of the big boost of energy when you need it. And if staying cool on the job site is one of your priorities, might I suggest the most powerful fan in its class. This has got 1,100 CFM of wind that comes out. It's got a variable speed wheel, so you can kind of dial in up to 19 miles per hour. As far as putting it on the ground, sure, you can do that. You want to put it up on the rafters, you can do that too because it's got rafter hooks. Or you can put it on the stack pack organizer and it snaps right in place so it's going to stay put. This is one of those situations of you asked for it, we made it, and we made a great one. This is a one-handed recip saw. 
really popular tool on the job site, a full one inch stroke for faster cuts, dual LED illumination, counterbalanced gearbox, so it's gonna stay quiet in hand. It's not gonna be a bouncy tool and keyless blade change. So there you have it, more great tools from Flex. When it comes to the Flex single handed reciprocating saw, I was seriously hoping to see more of this and more of what it can do. But we'll see that in the future when it comes to the, the influencers or uploading test videos. But I was hoping to see more of that now. And I'm pretty sure that it'll do a fantastic job with what it's supposed to do. So when it comes to tool inserts, it's smart to have a huge arsenal for that because a lot of people will just buy the inserts themselves, even if they're not a part of the Flex brand. And so like, it's just a good option to have. So I'm glad that, I'm glad that they're expanding their uh, tool insert line. I, I'm hoping that all brands do this. If they have a new line of tools coming out, just do a versus videos between the older version of the tool. That's all you need to do and people will be majorly impressed. Have the versus videos stay with the influencers. I've been saying this for a long time already. I'm, and I was hoping that Flex learned their lesson the first time. Because of that, they were very stingy on the test because the less tests that they do, the less backlash they get. I don't think Flex deserves any backlash from this. Like they, they, they were worried about what the public would think. And so they, they sort of worked around that because these new stack batteries will majorly outperform 21700 cells. That's a fact. I guarantee you that. We've proven that with the DeWalt 1.7 amp hour power stack battery. It actually performs the same as a four amp hour battery with 21,700 cells, which blew my mind. I can't wait for DeWalt to release higher amp hours when Flex already released them. So I'm actually very excited about these batteries, test them out, and the first thing I want to do is uh, see how they are against the older batteries to see the differences between them because then you will get people to buy into the new batteries if they see a big difference. So that's pretty much it guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.